Hello, I'm a 19 year old straight cis hat male guy studying. Well, male guy. It actually just says male. I put the guy down. Studying politics at uni in Canada. I started identifying as an anarchist this year after one of my highest ma- housemates, who is an anarchist, radicalized me, kinda, and helped me see that the beliefs I have are in line with anarchism. Whatever that does doesn't really matter. I read some books and shit. The question isn't really a serious one, but do you have any stories of problematic hookups? Wait, this doesn't mean people you hooked up with and then realize held super fucked up views, beliefs that um, political, social, or etc. I've definitely had some experiences of going back to a girl's apartment and like seeing an Ayn Rand book or some some other bullshit like a Margaret Thatcher poster. Made me lose my shit when I saw that one. The clan of the show, I really enjoy it a lot. That's a cool question. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> I just want to say something. You mm-hmm. have a bit of lips energy. Mm, thank you so much. Okay. You see, that's that's good sisterly behavior. Saying that, you could just like point me to two front arms to do that. That's all. I mean, you probably can't see it on the camera. Suck it out. Yep, go on. Fabulous. You see, that, that's that's how. By the way, if you are a friend to someone and you don't do this, sort of tell them, you know, if there's something a bit off, yeah, then you're to. a bad fucking friend. Yeah. And I've been, I've been calling out not only my girlfriends, but boyfriends as well, like yeah. dude friends or whatever, being like, how the fuck y'all told you that my eyeliner is literally like it's here? It's such a pain, what like, fuck? maybe it makes me feel a little bit awkward or them a little bit like self-conscious for one second, but say they go to a, a toilet two hours later and realize they had a massive bogey, totally. they would rather know. Uh-huh. Like, and there's a really nice way of doing this, like Rowan just demonstrated just then. Come on, guys yeah. and gals, all of you. Yeah, step up. Seriously. Like, yeah. So, problematic hookups. Oh, dear. Um, Boy. Do you want to start? So, uh, this <laughs> is a really interesting discourse that I think was kind of begun about two years ago, but actually my pal, uh, who I've lived with, that you've met a couple of times as well, I think she tweeted something about, like, never kissing a Tory, mm. and it kind of blew up. Um, and I, <laughs> that, yeah, as, as, as she was like, you know, as a progressive, I wouldn't do that something that I don't have, personally don't have any issues with as in, as in like, I, I, I... You don't always know as well. <sighs> so this is so tricky. Again, this is where your and my opinions really differ, I think. I have, I get enough satisfaction out of hooking up with someone that I'm like, very physically attracted to, and if they're like, if they have good moves, that I don't really have any problem, necessarily, with them having that bad of politics because what I needed to get a got and yes that happened it happened to me mostly <laughs> it seems to me like I, I I tend to have a thing for Israeli boys and 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 sadly even the youth that sadly is still very um, let's say not pro-Palestine mm. as such it's something that I don't necessarily find out until later on so this is not just like it sounded a bit bad as in like oh that's just like a hook up despite of this you know this is a conversation that usually gets ha- like happens later on as such but what are you meant to do afterwards you can't take it back yeah you can't take it back but also like I actually think if this is a really interesting discussion we've kind of had it before but I want to do it for the benefit of the camera mm-hmm. is that like what you're doing in my opinion is a more advanced version of feminism than what I'm doing because what I'm doing no. is I um, think a lot I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Wait, I have a whole spiel. It's no, I'm so sorry. Coming I'm so sorry. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So what I'm doing is thinking I won't sleep with this person who's a Tory because I don't want to give them the satisfaction of having slept with me. Whereas what you're doing is actually putting your own like sexual satisfaction first. Whereas I'm actually denying myself sexual satisfaction in order to deny them, which is more like a cutting off my nose to spite my face situation than actually taking what is mine and leaving them in the dirt. Don't do that if it's a nice person, if it's a Tory, leave them in the fucking dirt. And so like I think about this a lot, like and how I, I'm like, no, I wouldn't sleep with a Tory, but actually I'm like, yeah, if I wanna if I wanna like have that kind of sex, why shouldn't I take it? I appreciate that. Appreciate However, <laughs> no no no, I'm so sorry that yeah, that wasn't on but um I think we again as you say me and you had this conversation and I think what you said in those conversations that you didn't say just then is actually the key sentence that will actually prove that no your feminists or that politics are actually more advanced <laughs> is because you say I wouldn't give them the privilege to have touched me. I would not allow them to then go back to their friends and tell me that I hooked up with them. Yeah, that's what upsets me the most. It's not like like the them like coming, it's the them getting like the bro points and honestly i don't have a good answer to that and i think you're fucking you're probably right i don't know but okay so my my way of like 
I guess, defending myself, which is also not at all the correct opinion, and it's reactionary as fuck, is that I think it's already been well documented in through this show as such that I, I have fairly stereotypical desires when it comes to like when it comes to the the the, op, the, the, the someone I'm gonna ho- be hooking you mean up aesthetic with aesthetic or aesthetic. sex okay. Aesthetic. well and sex not I mean like I just want to be satisfied right mm. so like um and well, sadly for me but probably absolutely understandable because it's a lot of faff to keep that up is that in the radical left, there's just not enough yeah, of that. that aesthetic so, does not exist. Exactly. So obviously, the ideal would be to have that aesthetic, and I have like a fucking anarcho babe. Sadly, that's not often what tends to happen. And yet, though, we have to be real with ourselves and with our viewers. Like, anarcho boys are, can be just as shitty and broy and like, oh, we finally got laid as right wingers, as Tories. Like, and also shitty in bed. And shitty in bed. Like, women can be treated by shitly by people all over the spectrum. Yeah. So actually... Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I've had encounters where it's like... And that's the thing, like, but yeah, I mean, it probably is fucked up. Like, someone, yeah, is like anti-Palestine. Fucking incredible in bed, right? So what do I do? What that probably makes me, like... Fucking... I don't know. That probably makes me like racist in some sort of way if I'm allowing them to do that. I don't know. That's the, so much a tricky conversation, and I know someone's probably gonna have really like correct opinions under like somewhere there in the comments. I kind of want to hear it. I am interested, as in like I mean again, I find that I find that out later, and I guess the question would be like, would I go back? Well, I haven't, but would I? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess in terms of my story, the only person I can think of that fits this. Um, is when I just moved back to London and I was in a not great place and I decided what I really want tonight is a hookup. And I went for drinks with this guy and during the conversation, like it was a Tinder guy, I was like, right, meet you in an hour, done. During the course of the conversation, it turned out that he's a property developer. And I'm, um, in my other time, I'm a housing activist and anti-homelessness activist and obviously ex-squatter and we're not huge fans of um, property <laughs> developers, you might say. And I, I learned this before we had sex, but you know what? We had some bands, I told him that I was anti-gentrification and anti-everything he stood for and he explained his position which was that he was earning money to send back to his mother in Nigeria mm. and it was a, you know, like he had his position, I had my position. Then you hate fucked. Then we had fucking amazing sex, so like, you know, like, yeah, I could have been like, um, I'm sorry, because of your views, I'm not gonna, like, let what? you bang me, like, please, I wanted to do that. So, but I, so I wondered though, that's probably still not, 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 maybe not yours because like, doesn't necessarily kill people. Well, maybe it does. I don't know. Oh, it definitely does. I mean, the housing industry kills people every year. Well, yeah, probably, probably there are better people than our, than us then out there. That like you, the person that sent it the question, that just sees that stuff and goes like, no. Did he? Did he say that? Did well, he actually got... sleep with her or not? Oh, yeah, Doesn't say. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, no judgment from us if you did end up sleeping with her. To be honest. And again, Though, having sex with a Margaret Thatcher poster in the room not a turn on. No. <laughs> No, I was, a, I guess, a bit more so. But um, again, I'm a big believer in changing people's minds and changing people's political opinions. I know I've done that in the past. I've done that with partners as well. Mm, so like, I don't think that's necessary. Like, basically, you can find them as that. And we're talking about hookups, right? But like, what if you do end up in relationships and then, you know, in five years' time, it will be Emma Goldman's poster or something yeah. like that, you know? So yeah, everyone has a capacity to change. Yeah. As long as you don't, through that five years, end up being a right winger. <laughs> Well, yeah. Which does also happen to people on the left. Well, you know how many people would be disgusted by us right now? I bet. Not for sleeping with right wingers. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Sleeping with the enemy. Yeah. Whatever, man. The enemy knows how to bang. Yeah, man. And the left. <laughs> and, like, and the left are like little fuck boys too who treat women like shit, but they just do it through this whole kind of like intellectual superiority. 100%. Instead. And also, they will have like the Emma Goldman posters and like the Syrian, yeah. the Syrian, you know, oh, the, yeah, yeah. the Kurdish like, stand like, like, ladies sexy with the guns with and all of guns. that stuff. Yeah, 100%. So, you like a lot of the time, they will have still very embedded like racist, misogynist, and yes. transphobic views, you know? So, kind of can't tell anymore no. and like i will take a good fuck when i find one like yeah which just sounds terrible no, but like an anarchist who's shit towards women to me is less cool and actually less politically awesome than a right winger who's good to women no I but so but okay that's where intersectionality comes in right because right. okay like 
women, sure, but you know, what about race, you know? Yeah. So No, I know, it's true. But so therefore therefore sounding here like two white girls for sure. We're no, very absolutely, aware of we're that. so aware of that. But I just don't I just don't know, like because feminism is an important part of it and treating someone in good in bed is a form of feminism and if you're not doing that then you're just like an anarchist asshole and don't deserve to sleep with women either to be honest so yeah I feel like this is what you think he's like a light-hearted question about what do you do if someone's got and we're just going into like but I think a lot of people find this relatable yeah and yeah like you say you probably have better analysis than us probably also because they're typing it and you know I'm much smarter sounding when I type out an answer than I am (laughs) You know, we're just ad-libbing here. Like. Yeah, you know, and these are the sort of conversations we're having in, like, mm. hubs with our pals all the time, you know? So, and yeah, people are, usually it's more jokey, right? Because people go like, yeah, nah, I would never do that. They're like, yeah, I'd do it, you know? So mm-hmm. we don't really necessarily go in that depth. But, um, but I think it's interesting. Again, again, the ambition is for, 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 for this sort of division not to exist, right? And so I would like to think that in our time, outside of the states as such we do a lot of work to yeah. bring the you know egalitarian society as such and then internationally i know we both do and we put so much unpaid labor towards that so that to be prosecuted in that particular mm-hmm. point is just like i can't do it i can't do it yeah i mean that's literally what we're doing this show yeah <laughs> like, yeah we're trying to wake you know right wingers and other people less so yeah yeah, yeah, so I think, yeah, literally, like, I, fuck it, it's my, like, some sort of weird reparation or whatever it is, like, I do do, like, so much fucking unpaid labor, I have been, like, and Rowan as well for, like, fucking a decade now, or whatever, more than that, and, like, yeah, if I want to have, like, good sex with a hottie, but then again, I say this yeah, now, but then you hear they're, like, yeah, I wouldn't, <laughs> and I wouldn't, like, shag, like, a Tommy supporter, no, because like, they're ugly. <laughs> yeah, or like, you know, someone who's explicitly racist. But then obviously, again, being like anti-Palestine, I guess, is, is racism. I guess, okay, I'll tell you what, well, yeah. Yeah, right. no, it is. But then again, it's extremely, like, embedded as such. Yeah. I mean, not that that's an excuse at all. Because, like, what if, yeah. yeah, what if, like, white supremacy is embedded in Right. Right? That, that's not okay. No. Yeah, it's really complicated what your, what your line is. And it definitely comes from your own privileges and your own your own, I don't know, yeah. I guess, opinion, yeah, sure. but that doesn't mean it's right. Like, no. the way I justify it to myself doesn't mean that's right, for no. sure. No, no, no. Mm. But, okay, on the other, other, other hand, do we, what, just create that complete division, you know, like, and so we don't, yeah. we don't... Part of the job is educating the right, and we can do that through them, like, having feelings for us and then trying to better themselves for us. That is, like, actually a thing if you have the NG we could yeah. do, which we do well, do. Yes, which we do do. do, do. Yeah, but it is like I guess it is a, a tool or a weapon that we have and we should be utilizing it accordingly I'll tell you what I guess because I've been lucky enough to be with people even though they're right wingers that seem to be wishing to please the lady that in me there is this hope that they're open open to renegotiation of their beliefs you know if they wouldn't be that way if they really would just be like te- like terrible in in, in intimate circumstances I think I just wouldn't like I would leave because I would be like there's literally no hope yeah. here but it's because uh, oh fu- but again which is such a basic minimum right? mm. oh fuck he made me come like that's such a yeah. basic thing that should be like of course I made him come like three times yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. no exactly <laughs> It's so hard. So it's such bullshit. You know, as in like, oh my god, maybe I, oh my god, I'm gonna change his opinion. Oh, uh, great. If I want to, anyways. Yeah. But like, that's such a basic thing to have happen. Yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah. And I was like, you know, it comes down to the original like NHS concept, right? Do we, like, do we bang people into being left wing? We have. We have. I don't know. You know what? I'm really interested in people's opinions yeah. on this. Definitely comment below. You know, like yeah. again, we. I will be surprised if, if if many of you will arrive to a very very clear position on this. That will not be. You know. Very kind of completely the the device of such. Yeah, it's very easily hard line. I would never shag a Tory, whatever. Like done. But yeah, I like to think that too. I th- I say that. I throw that around. Whatever. But like, reality is more complex than that. Yeah. 
so maybe that is again my privilege talking i don't know like oh yeah yeah lift left is oh yeah 100 it is by the way it is yeah. our privilege talking 100 i know that like for yeah. facts um not that that makes it better but anyway it's like oh no we're aware of it so it's fine yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, no. that's so easy to do and we're very much aware that it's easy yeah. to do <laughs> see how this goes um but yeah, I mean, there are so many lefties that turn right wing as well, right? Mm. Yeah, I mean, if they're the ultimate, like, lefty dude who's great to women in bed and in general and hot and all of the things, then yeah, I'd rather shout But him. there is a lack of them, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? And hopefully you people watching will become those men. Yes, exactly. And then us poor ladies will no longer have to shag right wing. Thank you, <laughs> precisely. So it's all on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I love how we turn this to yeah, be, you know, yeah. other people's problems. Yeah. <laughs> but no, in um, general, I try to avoid sleeping with the right. And in general, I have succeeded. That was my one discretion. Sure, sure. I've, I may have I had, had bad more, than, more than one, but, um, yeah. Also, I don't know every element of people's politics. You know, I haven't asked everyone what their stance is on Palestine, right? Yeah. So. Also, like, <sighs> whatever. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. anti-Palestinian but like so radical in so many different ways and it's just like yeah it's it's 